After visiting Geauga Lake, we motored over to Kent, Ohio for a bite to eat. Our destination of choice was Mike's Place. You'll know it. It's the place with the homemade X-Wing fighter out front. Geek! Before you walk in, you can tell this place has a sense of humor. A lot of chain restaurants love to plaster generic memorabilia on their walls. Looking around Mike's Place, however, you feel like everything you see has a meaning or is a little inside joke. Of course, this isn't the first place we've been to with a dining bus, but it is the first place with a dining bus and a medieval banquet hall. It's also the only place you'll find the Dirk Diggler. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. It's not a hot dog. Don't you mean wiener? <sighs> no. The Dirk Diggler is a foot-long sandwich with grilled ham, roast beef, American cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, grilled onions, mushrooms, barbecue sauce, and, as if that wasn't enough, golden french fries thrown on top. This sandwich is the test of your manhood. It's really fulfilling. I passed the test. I got an F+. Plus. Okay, really important question for you. At what point in the consumption of this sandwich is it okay to admit defeat? With a belly full of Dirk Diggler, <laughs> we moved on to see what our next destination had to offer. The next morning found us in the sleepy little town of Mansfield, Ohio. Mansfield was once a thriving center of industry, but it took a really hard hit during the steel recession of the 1970s. It's been struggling to stay afloat ever since. Efforts at revitalization include the Carousel District. At the center of all this is Richland Carousel Park. Opened in 1991, it features the first new hand-carved carousel built and operated in the United States since the 1930s. Also in the Carousel District is Carousel Magic. Carousel Magic is a local business that specializes in the restoration of carousel mounts and chariots. They offer tours of their facilities, but they were in the middle of a big restoration project when we visited. Instead, we just checked out some of their restored pieces. Dude, what are you doing? Crossing the street. Um, yeah, why don't you, we take a couple steps down and cross at the crosswalk down there. Because we're going over here? Yeah, but it's illegal. It's called jaywalking. What? We're in Mansfield, Ohio. The Popo's gonna come get me some of them jaywalking? They could. Whatever. Do you believe me about jaywalking now? Between the years of 1910 and 1990, the Ohio State Reformatory wasn't the kind of place you'd plan a visit to, unless you had some black sheep in the family. These days, the nonprofit Mansfield Reformatory Preservation Society conducts tours of the facility. Proceeds go to the continued preservation of this historic landmark. As the tour kicks off, we are led out of the guards room and into the first cell block. This prison features the largest freestanding cell block known to exist in the world. Now, walking through one of these cell blocks should guarantee that you never want to commit a crime. The cots are uncomfortable, the toilets are disgusting, Ugh. and the shower room. Oh, oh, the shower room. Another deterrent on hand is the reproduction of Old Sparky, the state's first electric chair. The new prison built in this one's shadow makes it clear that not everyone's taking the tour. Seriously, stay in school, kids. If some portions of this place look familiar, it's because the Ohio State Reformatory has served as a location for several motion pictures. They include Air Force One, Tango and Cash, and most famously the Shawshank Redemption. There are several mock-ups of sets and props from the film on site. If you're in the area, we definitely recommend taking the tour. It's informative, it's entertaining, it's extremely creepy. All in one package. <laughs> so is your face. 
As we continue our trek through Ohio, we find ourselves along the shores of Lake Erie in the smallish town of Sandusky. The downtown area preserves a lot of the town's history, both in its architecture and its atmosphere. The courthouse grounds are well maintained and inviting, with a gazebo and a replica of a famous fountain. The town has many museums, including a merry-go-round museum and a maritime museum that is located directly across from the marina. So, why are we here? Okay, look, it's like this. If you like to gamble... Ew. Yeah. Las Vegas is your mecca. If you like Elvis, a visit to Graceland is a must. If you're a Grateful Dead fan, you probably need to visit a shower. Dirty hippie. But if you like roller coasters, there's one place you definitely have to visit. Cedar Point. With a total of 17 roller coasters, Cedar Point sits on a peninsula jutting into Lake Erie. We opted to stay on site at one of the point's historic resorts. This is our hotel room at Hotel Breaker. It's located in the rotunda section of the hotel. It's the oldest section. But the room itself isn't the neat part. The neat part is the view. Our room had an amazing view of Lake Erie. The park has its own private beaches, but swimming isn't always an option. When we went, it was downright prohibited. Oh yeah, and when we say we're staying on site, we are on site. The park is a three minute walk away, but we'll get to that next week. <laughs> 